back to a time before Brian meant middle class white kids with ample time bins and a rhyme scheme kind of self hard storms in the even most as intimate sneak ball and had a door frame of that yes to race. And even if I three kids were bad and common and never yours to say. See, our Afros beat tunes into this industry, but no, we're not all of us, so don't get it twisted. We just want it to be natural. Everybody is 
So when I came to Oxford, I came with apprehension, fear, despair. It was in that moment that I realised that I wanted to affect Oxford as a state. Now, for those of you that knew me before I got involved in ACS, I was really shy. ACS is one of those very strange societies or projects where everything you say about it sounds cliche, but honestly, all of them are true. So ACS is like a family. I have never met such wonderful, beautiful, and talented souls as the people in this room. Um, when, when we say it's more than just a society, when we started this ACS, we came in with very little money, we came in with very little experience, we came in with very little um, just skills that we needed to, to, to build this ACS to what we wanted it to be. So first of all, thank you to all of you that have uh, practically involved yourselves in ACS, whether that be through access to outreach, attending events, liking and sharing posts. You don't know how much it means to us, but we see likes and shares and posts. I would also like to say thank you to the executive board. Not all of them are here today. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Hope. Um, she's the senior director of the Oxford ACS for her guidance, her kindness, her love, and her help. Um, yes, I'd like to say thank you to Carl, who is actually here, um, for his support. Um, he was one of the first people that actually looked at me and thought and saw the potential in me. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to Justice, who's also not here. He was basically my mentor, my psychiatrist, um, <laughs> my consultant, um, my older brother. I would also like to say thank you to my committee. So I'll start off with junior committee. Thank you guys. I know it has been a roller coaster. I know it hasn't been easy. I know there have been some rough times for you guys, but I really, really appreciate you guys for being so ready and happy to help and lend a hand when we needed it. Moving on to my senior committee. So starting off with my welfare guys. Kai Sola, tell me, stand up please. the safety, the interests of black students in Oxford are taken care of, so thank you. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Bengar. Stand up, sir. <laughs> we have had some tough times. <laughs> we have had some tough times, but throughout it all, honestly, Bengar, you have been a dream to work with. Um, I would also like to say thank you to Polaris Access and Outreach Officer Extraordinaire. The way that this guy loves access, I don't think I need to say it, but you guys already know how he loves access. If it was a woman, you'd probably marry access. But thank you for putting in so much effort, hours, and passion into ensuring that the next generation of African and Caribbean students can also access Oxford and beyond. So thank you. Thank you, I'm so just going to be mid not here, but Princess, may you also stand up for me, please. Kind of upset that she couldn't be here today because most of this is her doing. Moving on to my beloved executive team. <laughs> Many a great and shady moments we have. <laughs> so first I'd like to say thank you to Ruth Lily. You have been more than just a secretary, you have been um, an advisor to me, you have been a sharp tongue when I need it. <laughs> you have been <laughs> one of the most realistic people I have had the pleasure of coming across. So thank you. Moving on to my treasurer, Desola, if you can stand up for Shay. I would like to thank you for your passion, not just as a treasurer, but the effort you have put into other events, Moonlight, I mean our flagship event. Thank you <laughs> for the nonsense that you put up with for that. I try not to be emotional for, but maybe. Fro, can you stand up for My right hand man, my friend, my brother, there was a point in the beginning of this ACF journey where I was talking to my B more than I was talking to my own family because we were trying to <laughs> we were really trying for this ACS. I mean there have been some tough times and I have never met someone with the same passion, the same kindness. I mean the kind of person that would drop everything for ACS if you ask him. I just want to say thank you. Um, I'm gonna end with a quote that I actually heard when I was first coming in as ACS president and it was about leadership. It was essentially to lead is to serve. So um, I 
as if I was serving you guys well. Mm. And for the very last time, <laughs> ACS Love from the ACS 26. Oh, I would like to first start with a few core cool messages that are integral to the mood that I want to establish for today. Tottenham teams run team. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I would like to reiterate Renee's thanks to all of you beautiful people for coming here tonight. The amount of black excellence and magic that I've seen in this room makes my heart so full. I also want to give a special shout out to my darling sister who has exams and still tracked all the way from Nottingham to see me. In there, thank you. For those of you who don't know me or for those I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, my name is Kylo, I'm a first year classicist at Wollum. But quite frankly, that doesn't matter. If you take anything away from this speech, let it be the fact that I love ACS. This society means so, so much to me, I find it quite hard to express. The truth is, I don't think I'll ever feel like I deserve this role because it's more than just one person, more than the exec and more than the committee. It's all of us here that makes this society what it is, a family. And for that, I will be forever indebted to ACS because what it has given me is immeasurable. Renee Amaka Kapuku, my North London gal. <laughs> I don't think you know how much I look up to you or how much you all admire and revere you. You've had such a direct vision for ACS, which has enabled society to reach new heights and has made sure that, this, that Oxford ACS is in the seat of everyone's time. I remember against my better judgment, I firmed Oxford law. Well. I'm still coming to terms with it, it's okay. I was so anxious judging myself, fighting with external and internal voices that told me that this institution was never built to support someone that looked like me. I remember seeing Courtney Daniela coming up with my suggestions on my YouTube account and seeing two beautiful and most importantly brown faces looking at me. I was so hesitant to click on the video because I thought it'd make me even more unsure about my decision. But I just remember feeling relief and reassured afterwards. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Because before we ever even met, you made me feel validated. You made me feel like a girl from ENDS could make it. <laughs> you have given so much to ACS and you are literally a queen. And for that reason, I thought it made it sense for this to be your present. Yes. The pros. I thought I should get one as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, Moby, Moby, Moby. Wow. <laughs> I've thought of many different ways of saying this, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. But I've decided that you're not a real person. <laughs> I, remember, I remember coming to the ACS meet and greet and seeing you and feeling completely at ease. I'm sure anyone else can testify that you have the most welcoming and developing aura I've yet to encounter because you are black boy joy personified. <laughs> to my exec committee, Josh, Kareem, Georgina, I look at all of you and I feel so proud of my choices. You have all impressed me and stepped up so much that it forces me to up my game because I don't want to let you guys down. Um, to my new committee, 2017 slash 2018 is going to be the biggest and baddest year for ACS. Oh, but I just wanted to say that there's no better people that I can imagine myself going through this journey with. Lastly, I just want to say thank you again to the people who voted for me. And I know I'm the only one who ran. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you feel stuck with me, lol. <laughs> but, honestly, but honestly, it will be my honor and privilege to serve you as ACS President 2017 slash 18. Thank you and continue living your best possible lives tonight. <laughs>